My name is Greg Schlemmer. Um, we farm between Edgar and Fromberg, Montana. We farm about 1,500 acres. We feed about uh, 18,000 head of cattle between two feedlots every winter. We grow sugar beets, wheat, malt, barley, and corn. So this farm I started working with as soon as I got here about two and a half years ago and uh, they had an equip contract with us and uh, working with Greg, he's a pretty innovative farmer and had a lot of questions and we started working together, learning together. I supervise the NRCS office in this county. We work with, uh, with producers, farmers and ranchers on uh, conservation, um, so practices to um, to um, help them to be more uh, sustainable. My wife's from Minnesota, so I kind of have seen a little bit of no-till going on, but I knew nothing about it. And one, uh, I think it was a cold January day, they had a, at the public library in Billings there, they had a uh, kind of a no-till seminar, you might call it. And they did a deal where, you know, they dropped no-till soil and conventional soil into a into a beaker or whatever, and I watched one melt away and the other one stayed there, and <laughs> I was like, we can do this. <laughs> the more tillage uh, we find, the more soil erosion that we have, and it's a, it's, it's a problem, so. Um, particularly in our uh, sugar beet systems, um, historically have had a lot of erosion, and that's what's really exciting about uh, this reduced tillage or, or flat plant, no-till, whatever you want to call it, um, that uh, instead of having tons and tons of soil erosion, we're having about zero. So it's, it's pretty, it's very cool. Huge step, conservation. I probably lose 100 pounds per acre now when I used to lose tons. And for every ton of soil you lose, I think it's $50 in nutrients you lose. That's fertilizer you've had to pay for. It adds up to, you know, a couple of years, $100,000. I'm not a natural guy. I mean, I was never a greenie or a tree hugger or anything like that. That's, I'm still not. It just works better that way and I make more money that way. So pull both of them. You see the soil? See this stuff on top, how it's just all nice and yes. the way soil's supposed to be. Throughout the county, um, so we've been doing a lot of irrigation um, contracts with Equip. And why pivots are better, why we're promoting them, is that we are having less soil erosion through water or wind. We had a pivot with the NRCS program, and I had a field that I was going to no-till barley into corn stalks, and instead I just planted the sugar beets right down the rows. Where we planted the beets into, we, th we didn't think the beets would do much. By the time we came to harvest, the beets looked amazing. All right, so it's forming, it's the granular structure. We're benefiting the soil. We're finding that we can increase the soil organic matter levels. Um, and by doing so, less inputs are needed, less water. There's more available nutrients. And so not only is the, the soil uh, using less water, it's also uh, infiltrating easier, storing that water with less, less runoffs. We haven't seen uh, really much of a downside to speak of. I get to spend more time with my kids, my wife. I'm not sitting in a tractor all fall. I can go hunting, I can go fishing, I can do things in the summer that I went to the Everglades fishing here a couple weeks ago. I couldn't have done that had I been out cultivating. Um, you get to enjoy life a little more. There's so many positives. It's and more earthworms, more organic matter, uh, less water, less fertilizer, less chemical. I watch other people cultivating and ditching and doing the things that we used to do and I'm like the Jehovah's Witness of uh, no-till. I'm always telling people about it and <laughs> trying to to get them to even try it. Just, you know, just 10 acres, just 10 acres. You can make, you can have a wreck on 10 acres. You can learn something. If, you had to, if I had to do the same thing we used to do for the rest of my life, I would quit. Especially, if, you know, we're on, sitting in 30-year lows for crop prices right now. How can you afford to go out and spend $200 an acre working your ground? You can't. And it's something that these guys have been doing their whole life. They know how to do it that way. But, you know, they uh, could do better.
you know you're not rebuilding that system either. right you have all that infrastructure the, in the, the, the building's already there a new yeah. business has just moved in right i think because the, of the nrcs that's really where i got all these ideas from i uh they're the one that's the planted that seed in my head and i appreciate their work i was like you guys keep doing what you're doing because without the nrcs i don't i wouldn't be where i am today